and we're back. It's my name is Miss Scarlet Tanager, and I'm playing some Silent Hill 4. Now, I can't remember. Okay, I did put it back. That's good. Uh, I don't, oh, that's how. Okay. Uh, the coin. There's the key. Okay. You gotta leave the key. Um. Yeah. Still not many health items. Less than useful. I was told that, you know, I really should do more of the combat stuff. But I don't want to. I don't like combat in Silent Hill games. It's never good. <laughs> and this control scheme is a lot jankier than the ones in uh, 1, 2, or 3. You can definitely see how this game was not originally meant to be a Silent Hill game. Or the fact that it was made by a Team Silence B team. I didn't do it. Uh, Alright, cool. Yeah, let's go. We gotta get the fuck out of here. I didn't do it. <laughs> I heard the room like, I didn't do it. Wasn't me. Wasn't me, damn it. Oh, fuck, dogs. <laughs> I forgot about the dogs. I'm just gonna swoop. Oh, they, oh, they, oh, I almost got out of there without getting hit. <laughs> Stupid bat. Okay, there should be a hole here. Yes. So I can run back into this hole, grab the key. And then it should throw me back out here. And we can open the door into the witch house, which I'm sure will be fine. I'm sure that's not going to lead to the death of uh, Mr. Not Ed Gein. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, pretty sure Mr. Gein will be fine. Pretty sure it's fine. Nothing bad could possibly happen here. Translation: Everything bad could happen here. <laughs> okay, where's my key? Uh, Clickety, 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 clickety. Enter the hole. <laughs> oh, umbilical cord imagery. That's nice. How very bloodborne of you. I gotta say how. In Bloodborne's case, how very Silent Hill of Bloodborne. How you doing there, Jasper? I would have thought you would have died at this point. Huh. I used the rest of key. I am now inside the house. This is sketchy. Not a fan. Okay. Oh shit, hi Jasper! The fuck you doing in here, bro? Bro. Okay. Uh, is that important? Is, is this important? It's falling apart and I can't even read most of the pages. Here's the part I can read. Okay. The second sign, and God said, offer the blood of the ten sinners in the white oil. Be then released from the bonds of the flesh and gain the powers of heaven. From the darkness and void, bring forth gloom and gird thyself with despair for the giver of wisdom. The third sign, and God said, return to the source through sin's temptation. Temptation. Oh, the temptation plaque. That was the Cynthia thing. Under the watchful eye of the demon, wander alone in the formless chaos. Only then, with, only then will the four atonements be in alignment. Uh... Source placard. I turned my back for two seconds, Jasper. <laughs> he was right behind me. Ah, 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 ah. 
I finally met him. The one the nosy guy talked about. The devil! At least in the case of Cynthia, there was like a fair bit of time that Walter attacked and killed her. A special news report. In a forest near Silent Hill, that literally took male was discovered three seconds. The police have ruled it a homicide and are investigating. He, he was the right next to... Seven one two one were reportedly carved into the man's body. The human the body doesn't burn that fast. The and the only way the human body would burn that well would be if he got doused with gasoline and immediately set on fire. And even then, he would not die that quickly. Like... God, my biology degree really ruins me for things like this. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Sunderland. This AKA James the Daddy. Superintendent. Are you in there, Henry? Help me! There's something wrong with this room! <gasps> Henry's Henry, using a higher octave! I am here. shook! Is anybody home? I'm gonna keep saying it. Break the window, Henry. Like, what's bro. going on here? See, okay, he does have a key. As he should, as the superintendent. He doesn't work. I mean, that tracks, but at the same time, you should be a little bit more concerned. That's the right key. Um, I'm sure I heard something in there. Yeah. That sound. It's the same one as back then. I But seriously, especially because this is something that has happened before at this apartment complex, specifically with this room, you think he'd be a little bit more concerned. And I don't care what kind of supernatural power this place has, supernatural power can't do shit against a bulldozer. Or probably a shit ton of SWAT police. They're gonna be able to break that door down. Like, the door's not made of freaking vibranium or something. <laughs> I don't know. I, it, it, has, it has to happen the way that it happens because plot, but. Eh, might as well pop a save. I'm here. <laughs> uh, the nostalgia that these sound effects cause. <laughs> So you can see freaking sound effects from the old games. Older games, I should say, because this is also an old game. Okay. Where am I going now? Holes changed again. I think I can hear children's voices. Great. <laughs> Wonderful. Children's voices. Sounds great. This is gonna end well. And by end well, I mean end terribly. Absolutely terribly. Oh no. See, I this is semi-blank because I haven't played this game myself, but I do know about a specific monster that's in this area. Because I've seen pictures of it. Right. This is fine. I didn't do it. Oh, there's our new victim. So, funny story actually. Um, 
I'm recording Metal Gear Solid 2 and this game at the same time, and I generally stay away from doing that um, because there's a lot of games that require specific settings on an emulator to work properly, especially Metal Gear Solid 2. God, have I been having trouble with that game. But um, funnily enough, as you guys can see, this game works perfectly fine using the exact same settings as MGS2. Hi. Get me the hell out of here. Your lips aren't moving. Also, Henry, do you have nothing to say? Oh, okay, fine. Um, so we're gonna have to find a key for that. Um, yeah, I just find I just find it interesting that okay, there's our hole, our requisite hole. Um, but yeah, so it's the only reason why I'm playing two PlayStation Two games at the same time is because excuse me is because the. The, this game happens to work just fine under the same settings as MGS2. I don't see anything in here. I. Da, 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 da. Anything in here? Lock is broken! Of course it is. <laughs> We're back in Silent Hill, baby! <laughs> All the doors are broken. <laughs> There's a noose. Great. Something's written. I'm sick of being watched. Okay, watch through the hole there, I assume. So I assume there's some sort of central room that I'm gonna have to do some sort of puzzle in. Fucking hell, what are you- WHAT THE FUCK?! <laughs> Excuse me? Um... Well, I guess this will help me figure out some of the shit with the combat. He says, "Stuff. Who's walking around in high heels? <laughs> it's a, it sounds like high heels. Okay, there's nothing here. Lock is broken. Bullets. No, take, take. We always take." What's this? Oh, I still have- I forgot to put the temptation palette- or the- not the temptation. The placard away. It looks like it's in a kid's writing. I'm being watched from the middle room, obviously. Wait, what's that? There's sloppily written note on the ground. Okay. Lucky, I finally escaped from the cell. I decided to take a careful look around this building. The scariest place was the first floor basement. There's a kitchen in the northeast, but the next door to the northwest is a death chamber. To get in there, you have to punch in the right numbers. I don't know the numbers, and it was too dark to even see the panel, so I didn't go in. Okay. He's gonna kill me! Walter's gonna kill me! He's gonna kill me! Okay. That sounds like a you problem, bro. <laughs> All right, so. I swear I saw a door. Get me out. Get me the hell out of here. Okay, this is just the one that goes to the hole. So I might as well jump back to go put away the placard and stuff because I have limited inventory space in the Silent Hill game. I know that's going to be a thing later, as well as freaking weapon degradation. But... Which, terrible idea, FYI. It doesn't make it scarier to have weapon degradation. It just makes it annoying. And stops you from using your good weapons. I didn't do it. I don't remember turning this on. Turn it off! The power off the screen says, It's haunted! Oh fuck! <laughs> My house is haunted! God damn it! <laughs> this is why I can't have nice things. Okay. I don't want the house to be haunted. I like my house. The house is safe and it heals me. 
And this game has fuck all in terms of healing items, at least that I've found. Granted, I probably missed a couple, to be honest. I'm not being especially thorough. Didn't do it. Oh, wait a minute, there's a door there. <laughs> oh. What about this one? Here we go. Um. You fucker. <laughs> I'm not on an escalator anymore, bitch! Okay. <laughs> Keeping my eyes out. Not so scary we're not on an escalator, huh? <laughs> Can't do shit. Murder. Ah, I got a stupid stamina bar. Also, bad idea for a game like this. A fucking stamina bar. Alright, we got another one. Hello. Hello, Mr. Wallmonster. I heard it. Is it behind me? Or is it in front of me? Oh shit! <laughs> The only reason I got hit there was because of the glare from my ring light. <laughs> I didn't see him in time. Got him. I don't want to get too close to him. <laughs> okay, this is fine. Okay. Now I feel like I can get a little bit closer to him. Okay. Where's the other one? How you doing? Bonk, bonk, bonk. Stab, stab, stab. Not well, it's not like stabbing. Do these guys respawn? Ah, you didn't give me that time. Okay, yes, you did. <laughs> Come at me. How did that guy hit me from Narnia? Fucking hit me from Narnia. <laughs> yeah, okay, bro. What in the world was that attack, bro? Wait, I got hit? How the fuck? <laughs> Man, this game janky as fuck. Okay. Okay. <laughs> You'd say the basement was the worst place, so I don't know how I feel about this. Oh, I definitely don't like this. <laughs> it's a key. Take the key. Of course. Take the prison, wa water prison exit key. Uh, to the key found up is carved into it. Oh, I assume that's the, um, um, key... Oh shit, there's a hole. Do I have to put this key back too? But to the other hole room. Uh. I. Oh shit, there's the Marcus Amiel. Why does this feel like a boss chamber? It's way too, like, wide. can't open it very wide. Oh wait, is that supposed to open? Is this some sort of door? <laughs> I don't know, but it looks like a boss fight chamber because of how open it is. <laughs> oh, I guess I'll have to remember this for later. Okay, I'm out. 
So I assume since it means up, maybe that uh, area where we had the first hole, there's the locked door there. I assume it goes to that and then it goes up to the next floor. That's my assumption here. Now, is there anything on this side? What the fuck? What was that sound? Nope. Wait a minute, where the fuck? <laughs> I didn't have to go that way at all. <laughs> I didn't have to go past the wall dudes at all, did I? <laughs> Oops. Oh. Um, I... What's up the ladder? Wait, no. It's Toluca Lake! I assume. <laughs> it's a big body of water in a Silent Hill game. Probably Toluca Lake. Oh, it's these things. Come at me. I'll fuck you up. Don't want to get too close. Oh my god, there's so many of them! <laughs> Murder! Murder the creepy thingies! The creepy... I don't know... Baby heads? I can't... I don't know if they fucking are, man. I just stomped on a leech. Ight. Lock's broken. Locks are always fucking broken in Silent Hill. Except for that one, apparently! Oh, book! It's a diary. I've been watching the surveillance room's peephole the whole time, and sometimes he's there. I can I can tell because I see a shadow move or hear his footsteps. Okay. Ite. Thought it was filled with black powder. Take it! Blow some shit up! Like, I'm probably gonna have to come back here for this. I mean, this is just a bunch of black powder. Like, let's, um, that dude who's caught in the cell? Let's just blow that fucking door off. Like, make it go ma boom ma boom. Is there literally nothing here? Lock is broken. Lots of leeches. Okay, another paper. I peed my pants, I gotta wash them so nobody finds out. Oh, I just saw a shadow, I think someone saw me. Okay. Okay. There's bound to be something in one of these. That's a lot of books. Can I not read any- Do we get no explanation for all these books? Like, at all? Okay. There's still somebody walking around the center area. But it sounds like they're wearing heels. You fucking what? <laughs> That's the monster I was talking about! I've seen pictures of that thing- Nope! <laughs> nope. Jump in the hole. <laughs> Pull a James Sunderland, Henry. I'm sure it'll be fine. I don't want to deal with that monster thing. Nope. That is a pile of fucking no. quiet. No screaming, you guys. It's 11 p.m. at night, and my roommate is right across the hall from me. And I decided to record a horror game. I should have recorded Silent Hill first. <laughs> Instead of recording MGS2 first. Because MGS2 is not going to make me scream. Okay, then. 
fucking jump scares. <laughs> fucking out of here. It's unlocked. Okay. I don't know what that was locked to. Oh, this goes to the center room. Okay. I hope I didn't freak out my roommate. <laughs> she already gives me shit when I record late at night anyway. This place continues to deteriorate. The doors to a number of cells no longer open. As a result, the kids inside can no longer go outside. But the less they know about that, the better. I can't open the doors, but from this room I can watch them get more and more emaciated each day. With no food and never showering themselves, they turn into snowy little gray lumps in there. Following the suggestion of an engineer, we disposed of the corpses by digging a hole below the cells. Since each floor of this building can be rotated independently, we can dispose of the bodies without the others noticing by aligning each cell with the body in it vertically. P.S. Chief, I bet you're just dying to see the interrogation room behind the kitchen. I understand your feelings, but have you noticed? There are three rooms with bloody beds. One is on the first floor, one is on the second floor, and one is on the third floor. If you line up those three, if you line those three rooms up, then it's bingo. Okay. So I have to figure out which rooms are the ones with the bloody beds, and I have to line those up. I guess. Okay. Oh shit, it's the dude! <laughs> and this one has the hole. I can't tell which one's the bloody bed though, because you can't really see the bed. Oh, wait, no, that one has blood, okay. So, it's this one. Okay, and that one has the news in it. So the bloody bed on this um, this floor is the one in here. Yes, yeah, that has blood on the bed. Don't know how to turn it though. To keep a close eye on the kids, it's important to keep the cells well lit. The lights on the third floor were originally bought using, bought as searchlights. As a precaution against a blackout, they were set up to run on a private generator. There is a hydroelectric generator in the basement. To light up the first and second floors, use the corpse disposal chutes. Since each floor of this building can be rotated, you can light up any of the cells by matching up the holes. Repeating this periodically is an effective way to keep the kids fearful and well-behaved. Wow! <laughs> this is the shittiest orphanage. Chief, if you turn the handle in the middle of this room, you can easily rotate the cells. You can't rotate the last floor, so align the second and third floors. Okay, so we can't rotate the first floor. But the first floor is cell that has the bloodstained bed. By the way, if you use the people in this room, you can easily make sure that you're doing it right. Give it a try. Also, please don't forget to open the sluice gate on the roof. Much appreciated, Chief. Okay. This is fucked. <laughs> okay. So the one that had the bloody bed was here. So we have to make sure the bloody bed is the one that's there. I don't know which way it rotates, though. I assume it lets me pick. Bloody bed. Okay. Which way did that turn it, though? It turned it the wrong way. <laughs> yeah, it turned it the wrong way. Damn it. <laughs> uh, turn it right. So I have to turn it right a bunch of times to get into the same spot as the bloody bed on the first floor. And then I'm going to have to do that to the third floor, I assume. Turn, 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 turn. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> uh. 
Okay, that should put it in the right spot. Yeah. Okay. Some kind of memo. The secret number for getting through the door in the in the back of the kitchen this month is 0302. Thanks for your cooperation. Okay. So I'll just find the kitchen. Oh fuck. Um <laughs> I was using the desk to orient myself before. Okay. So from the ladder. One, two, second one to the left. Okay. Yeah, so from ladder one. Two, so it's gotta be this one. It already has a bloody bed. Okay. <laughs> bloody bed. Bloody bed. Oh crap. <laughs> Since I was oriented to the desk instead of the ladder. Damn it! <laughs> okay, so I have to move it. Each one of them, two more over. Okay. To the right. Should have oriented to the ladder <laughs> instead of the desk. <laughs> realize that that was actually going to open that, but okay. Um, I'm actually way over time, so I'm going to end this video here, even though I try to end it when I'm at a save point. I'm not entirely sure where... Oh, fuck, I shouldn't have gone down there. Subtitles, they are important. I need to end the video though. I should have ended it before I went down the ladder. Damn it. How did you get in here so quickly, bro? Wow, Henry. Touch the person soldier instead of say instead of saying, Hey, I'm here. I'm Andrew DeSalvo. They tried to make it seem like an orphanage, but according to that town's holy scriptures, it was actually the center of their religion. No, what? <laughs> Walter. He was really into that mumbo jumbo. Especially that descent of the Holy Mother business. It was scary. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, my God. Everybody's oh, nuts, except Henry. <laughs> Henry just is a nothing personality. Oh my god. You know, us splitting up has never proven to be a good idea. Anyway, I'm gonna end the video here. My name is Miss Scarlet Tanager, and I am playing some Silent Hill 4. I'll see you all in the next video.